Hello, and welcome back to the Daily Fork. Happy Narwhal Shirt Day. Do you guys know it's Narwhal Shirt Day? It's pretty cool. Hashtag Happy Narwhal Shirt Day. Happy Narwhal Shirt Day, everybody. Narwhal shirts, narwhal shirts. Happy Narwhal Shirt Day. Did you know it's Narwhal Shirt Day? It's how I love my narwhal shirt. Happy Narwhal Shirt Day. It's not Narwhal Shirt Day. There's no such thing as Narwhal Shirt Day. Anyways, welcome back to The Daily Fork. Today's question of the day is, what is the RoboCup? It's about as hilarious as it sounds. So the RoboCup is an international organization that puts on yearly robotics competitions, most of which are not necessarily sports related. The ones that get the most attention are the robotics soccer competitions. These have a number of leagues. They have the small size league, the medium size league, but the most interesting is the humanoid league. Now the humanoid league is interesting because the designers of the robotic teams have to keep their robots limited to the way that a human being would play soccer. So they have the same range of motion, they only use sight and sound in the way that they're making their decisions, and sometimes they even bump into each other and fake injury for 10 minutes. For now, the RoboCup looks hilarious. It's very simplistic and the robots don't look like they can really do that much. But the people behind the RoboCup have a pretty big challenge for FIFA. They claim that by 2050, the humanoid team of the RoboCup will be good enough to beat the World Cup champions. So that is a game of football I look forward to watching. Let's see what happens. I told you the robots were coming. You didn't listen. This has been The Daily Fork. Let me know what you think about robotic soccer. Will they beat the 2050 World Cup team or will they just flop around and fall on their robotic butts? Let me know in the comments below. Comment all your questions below. All of my social media links are below. Whole lot of stuff below. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, and slap that bell before you go. If you haven't caught wind of it already, this is World Cup week. We are talking about all the technology behind the World Cup, and then on Friday, I will be doing a deep dive into what I think the World Cup might look like in the year 2070. So, if you wanna hear some crazy sci-fi predictions of the future, tune in on Friday. That's for you.